what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology nice to see you back and today we will discuss on how to surf god or surf our guru properly all right so if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it or else you will miss videos like this <laughs> and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end of course and share it with somebody who is interested to know how to serve god or how to serve our guru properly okay so today's video is based on god so i must say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there and he will also um, tell you or maybe he will also show you through videos like this <laughs> that how to serve him or his representatives better okay so now today i will be taking lessons from the life of hanuman ji none other than hanuman yes hanuman is the only character who we should be learning in this regard yes so generally what happens in the society whenever the boss gives some work what does the subordinate do the subordinate will always try to just finish it yes <laughs> like uh, when i was working in uh, cape gemini or it was i get those days in 2014 2015 beginning then uh, i used to see that my friends from the corporate world they used to keep counting oh when is it going to be 9 hour 15 minutes yes i don't know it was 8 hour 45 or 9 hour 15 something like that it was so that was the uh, minimum time which they were expected to not they i mean we also <laughs> me included in that we were expected to stay for that uh, much time minimum yes not maximum minimum so then everybody as that time used to approach they used to be like oh when i will go home man this boring job when is it going to get over which means that they always wanted to do less than what was expected should i repeat they always wanted to do less than what was expected now physically they may be doing but their heart is not into into it but on the other other hand if you see the example of hanuman yes so what service did jambavan gave to hanuman so when uh, sugriv had sent all the parties in four directions to find mother sita when sita devi was abducted by ravan then jambavan finally reminded hanuman ji of his prowess and of his power and of his strength which he had from the blessings of all the demigods yes when he was a child so jambavan ensured that hanuman ji remembers and hanuman ji had got a curse because he was very naughty that he will forget all your powers and then Hanuman ji remembered and then Jambavan said oh Hanuman for you what is this lanka <laughs> one jump by one desire one thought you can just reach lanka you are so powerful this saw yojan this na 100 yojanas is nothing actually for you and then Hanuman ji was like yes i remember all my strength yes i am hanuman yes i will do it I will take the name of Lord Ram and I will jump and I will go there and I will find Sita because he had come to know who told that Sita is there on that side who was the vulture who told write it down in the comments yes 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 I know everybody will write Jatayu it is not Jatayu it is somebody else who told them that Sita is there on that side almost I think <laughs> so please write it in the comments who was the one who told them that sita devi is on the other side of the ocean yes so now jambavan said that as lord ram has instructed sugriv had instructed that uh, find mother sita and uh, hanuman ha also had that ring from lord ram uh, which lord ram had given to him to give to sita as a proof that he was a messenger of lord ram yes so then hanuman ji went and then he encountered various obstacles yes he encountered the mainak parvat where he was supposed to rest but he did not rest and then he encountered so many people yes there was one lady suras she was also there and then there was another demoness her name was lankini she also tried to obstruct him and then finally hanuman ji he reduced his size and then he went to the ashok vatika where he met sita devi finally 
and then he gave the ring and then Sita Devi was very happy the Hanumanji said wait and wait and wait Lord Ram will come and he will destroy the entire race of the demons and he will take you back yes he will avenge the distress that you are undergoing so now what happened Hanumanji completed the service which was given yes but he thought let's do do something extra so this is the attitude which we should have let's do some extra yes which means that Hanumanji could have immediately returned from Lanka yes <laughs> but he thought thoda aur seva karte yaar. <laughs> which means let's do something more then what is expected of me in the corporate scenario it is opposite you only do till that moment where your manager will not throw you out from the job yes that's the part till you do there right of course some of them may be exceptional they may do more than expected but that's not the norm people only do it till the neck <laughs> but harmanji was not like that he was totally the opposite so what he did he decided let me see what's there in this city let me go and do uh, uh, let me go and assess yes as in sanskrit they say nirikshan so he went and started assessing the armies and then he thought for this to be done properly i have to make sure that i get a s idea of ravana's strength and then he started eating the fruits yes and then that vatika these demons came and they said oh you rascal who are you you know you are eating fruits and then they captured Hanumanji, yes, and then Akshay was the son of Ravan who came and then Hanuman killed Akshay. And then what happened? Finally, so many warriors came and effortlessly Hanumanji wiped them off from this planet. And then finally Indrajit came and Indrajit captured Hanuman. I mean, he did not capture him, but Hanumanji only decided that let me succumb to this weapon of Lord Brahma, which Indrajit had used. And then... So that I can get an idea of who Ravana is, so that I can see him, I can see what's going on in his city, yes. <laughs> and then Hanumanji goes to the uh, to that Sabha, yes. And then he is questioned there. Ravana asks him, who the hell are you? Why are you sitting here and eating those fruits? Hanumanji says, I am the messenger of Ram. He's going to come and finish you off. <laughs> and then Ravana orders. To his ministers and to the people there that go and kill this monkey then vibhishan his most uh, knowledgeable brother says no this is not right he is a dut dut means one who is like a messenger so scriptures forbid the king to kill a messenger because he is just delivering the message he should not be killed and then ravan also agreed to what vibhishan said then ravan said okay if that is the case i will not kill him but for a monkey it is a matter of great humiliation that his tail is burned so what i will do is i will burn his tail yes so ravan was planning to humiliate hanuman but at the end he ended up being humiliated <laughs> so this is what happens when you are demoniac now all your strategies will backfire one day everything will come back to you and then he lit fire in the tail of hanumanji and then hanumanji thought Let's have some fun, man. <laughs> and then he expanded his form into, he became gigantic. And then finally, he started litting every home of Lanka, every house, every building, every corner into fire. Yes. And then the entire Swarna Lanka, the golden Lanka was in ruins. It was burning like anything. And then... He told the name, he chanted loudly, Jai Shri Ram, and he leaped off back <laughs> to Rameshwaram where he found that, where he went and told to Lord Ram that, yes, I found Sita Devi. She's there and now it is time for us to march. So what's the lesson here? Hanumanji was not told that you go and burn Langa. Yes, but he did that extra service from his side. Yes, so which means whenever there is some spiritual occasion or whenever there is some uh, occasion where our guru has come then whatever is expected from us we should try to do some something extra something more should i repeat we should try to do something more at least 
which means that if suppose our guru has come and said oh there are these 20 bhagavad gitas today you have to distribute these bhagavad gitas yes so you can tell them okay or how about 25 <laughs> yes or 21 is also fine enough still you will behave like hanuman then instead of 20 you can do for 21 yes and then if suppose there is ekadashi yes then uh, they say that you should not take grains in ekadashi but why only not eat grains why not try to fast completely yes if you can fast without water that's perfect but you don't need to do that you can fast with water at least or at least worst case you can fast with fruits or dry fruits yes you don't have to eat varai or sabudana which people take during ekadashi and that also you can't do then you take varai or sabudana yes so always try to do something more something extra go that extra mile because the extra mile is the secret of success yes we always see that time and again all the great servants of lord whoever whoever i mean whoever you find hanuman ji for example yes lakshman then sugriv jambava they always extended themselves this is very important they always extended themselves more than what was expected from them so if we can follow in their footsteps as the shrimad bhagavatam says mahajano yena gata sa pantha that we follow in the footsteps of great personalities we do not imitate them like hanuman ji went and burned langa we can't do that but we can try to follow in their footsteps yes which means we take the principle and then we try to implement it in our own life and see whatever is expected of us yes so suppose uh, there is some function where we plan to donate 1000 rupees let's donate 1100 rupees <laughs> if there is a function where we plan to feed 20 brahmins let's aim for 25 yes something more bit more <laughs> that will always make the lord happy that will the lord vishnu will be very much pleased by this yes so when we go that extra mile because then lord will take a notice as lord krishna says in the gita that ishwara sarva bhutanam riddeshe arjuna tishthati i am situated in every living beings heart so krishna will take notice of this that oh this person was told to distribute 20 he or she went and distributed 30 gitas my god i have to give him some more blessings <laughs> and let us not do this with the expectation that something good will happen to us one day but we should be very selfless in uh, doing that we should not expect that we are giving this donation we are giving this charity of we are feeding brahmins or we are doing this puja then we will get something in return we should not expect that of course that will eventually happen if we do it properly one day but we don't know when that happens suppose you are doing some remedy for some problem yes we don't know when you will get the results so let us not be focused on the results let us be more focused on doing what is expected yes and always do some more bit more suppose uh, uh you decide to chant 16 rounds or maybe 32 rounds of a mantra suppose there is some festival like diwali or akshay tritiya or ram navami yes suppose there is festival like this or recently narsingh chaturdashi was there so then instead of aiming 108 let's aim for 109 110 111 yes 112 maybe four rounds extra so when we keep doing bit extra in our spiritual life then we will always realize that spiritual life is like a cake walk it is always a smooth journey but if you behave like corporate or like the government or like politicians or like anybody oh just one votes na just give them this much na just build this road so that we get these votes no we cannot progress in our spiritual life if we behave like that so we if we want to progress in spiritual life because in spiritual life everything is internal when you are working in a company you can somehow pretend that you have done this work till the till the limit it was expected and then your boss will say okay very good nice thank you although still he might hate you inside but he can't beat you right <laughs> because you have externally done it although maybe that's terrible what you have done it will be reflected in the rating which he gives you but spiritual life is not like that there is no nothing external in spiritual life the activities are external but the transformation is internal 
so in that case we have to realize that we cannot cheat god yes so suppose we are chanting some mantras or some mala we are taking in hand and we are chanting om namah shivaya shri ram jay ram jay jay ram and internally you are thinking oh when this mala is going to get over yes so then it's like imagine hanuman ji would be in half way to lanka and he would think oh this task is so boring man who knows where sita devi is yes no he was not like that he was like yes i will find sita devi because so and so told me in the comments <laughs> that sita devi is there on that side yes so if that person had told me which means it will happen because he was a great person who had told that sita devi is that side so he was very enthusiastic so enthusiasm is the word which i would use here enthusiasm is the root cause of all advancement in spiritual life if enthusiasm is not there as they say sphurti yes sphurti is the word which is used so if sphurti is not there your spiritual life will be very dry very boring very monotonous uninteresting it will be very it will be like a it will be like the sign of capricorn which is what barren land there's nothing there it's all dry yes it's terrible so let's not behave like that let us behave enthusiastically the way hanuman ji behaved and by that let's try to do something extra let's go a bit more than what is expected yes so if our guru expects us to do something let's do a bit more that will keep us active and lively in our spiritual life and that will give us strength to cross over all the hurdles that we face in our spiritual journey and when we continue doing that we will realize that spiritual life is beautiful as lord krishna says in the gita raja vidya raja guyam pavitram idam uttamam pratyakshavagamam dharmyam susukham kartum avyam su sukham kartum avyayam oh my dear arjuna raja vidya raja guyam this is the king of all knowledge and is most secret raj vidya means king of all knowledge raj guhyam guhyam means secret pavitram idam uttamam this is the most purest of all knowledge which i am giving you pratyaksha vagaman dharmyam susukham kartum avyam which means that this is to be happily practiced so if somebody is feeling that oh spiritual life is becoming very miserable is becoming very boring is becoming very there's no joy then that means we are not having enthusiasm we are doing it the wrong way and then the question is how to get enthusiasm associate with those people who have enthusiasm for spiritual activities when we associate with them then we will also realize that we also have that level of enthusiasm and then lg will happen what's lg life's good <laughs> okay so that is it from my side it has been again a long video and thank you very much for tolerating me till the end so this is what i would say maintain enthusiasm and always try to do a bit more than what is expected by that we will see that spiritual life becomes like a royal road yes which doesn't mean that there are no obstacles but we will be able to cross over all the obstacles effortlessly and associate with those people who are having enthusiasm suppose you like to read then associate with somebody who also likes to read the bhagavatam then you will develop more enthusiasm more power more push yes more joy more contentment more happiness more inner strength more will power to go and make it happen and when we do that then we will always remember that god is there with us all the time let's see to him and probably he'll be there <laughs> all right so that is it from my side if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and what else if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know how to serve god better or how to serve our guru better how to serve god or our gurus properly okay until next time wish you good luck with all your efforts in pleasing your gurus and god himself okay until next time bye bye see you